to you started fly fishing in Chris Field in the mid 50s, uh, but you weren't using deceivers. So what made you come up with a different kind of fly and why? Well, Tom Cofield used to be the outdoor editor for the Baltimore News American, which at that time was the, one of the leading newspapers in this area. He was a great outdoor editor. He and I used to fish down. We came down in a Model A Ford, and uh, they used to have a packing plant at the end of Crisfield, and they threw all the offalls up at the end of the day. Of course, you don't allow that anymore, but it made a gigantic chum line. And we would get out there and just catch one rockfish after another. And uh, the thing was that we had all these feather wing flies that kept under found or under wrapping, and you've seen that before. So on the way home, I said to Tom, I'm gonna try to make a fly that won't foul, looks like a bait fish, and has a lot of action, and you can tie it little or big. And I came up, this is what the original deceiver looked like. It's nothing more than a white tail with a bucktail. And incidentally, it's still a pretty good fly. We didn't know about Marlar, uh, the guy that made the Seamaster Reels, Mac McChristian, introduced me to that back in about 1964, which we added to this. And what one of the things that makes this, I mean, this thing when it's wet, looks like a fish. A lot of people don't realize that you've got to put this collar all the way back, and that makes little mini eddies, which makes this thing swim. But the thing is that this has progressed way beyond that, Tom. For example, we make this lefty deceivers now that are an inch and a half long, which you, I know you've used. Uh, this is one of my fav two favorites. My favorite is the one you have on the handle, which is which is your favorite of two, I think. The, the chartreuse and white. Yep, they tell you know what they say, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. But, <laughs> but uh, oddly enough, black is a, an all black with, I put a little bit of purple, sometimes a grizzly wing on. That's very, very effective too. And of course, and we make them bigger than this, but you can see that this one's about nine inches long. We make them up to 12 inches. So this is not really a specific pattern. It's a way of tying a fly. You can put anything you want on the top. You can put wings as long as you got a collar, a head, and a tail attached back and, here. And you're, you're tying the feathers back almost at the bend of the hook. Yes, that makes that, that helps. And, and with the collar around that, that keeps that from under wrapping. But in addition to that, uh, this, fly can be made in any kind of color combinations you want. And uh, it's probably the most, it and the clouds are men now are the two most popular flies in salt water around the world. And of course it's used in fresh water all the time. We also make a lot of them now out of synthetics like kinky fiber and super hair and all kind of stuff like that. So it's, it's really rewarding to know that people are having a good time using these things. And I know that uh, in the mid 50s you never thought that this would be probably the most popular fly, especially in the saltwater fishing Yeah, world. you know, I've been asked, what year did you make a deceiver? Well, when we made this, we were just trying to get something that wouldn't foul, would catch fish, so we, I don't know what year. I would guess somewhere between 58 and 60, but to us it wasn't important. We just wanted something that would catch fish. Uh, but I've met a lot of people who thank me for making this fly, and I'm glad they got a good time using it. And uh, I'd like to I'd like to thank you personally for, <laughs> for, for thousands of fish over the years. Where's my ring? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for today. This has oh, been great. I enjoy it. It's always fun fishing with you, Tom. Okay, well, that oh, was. Oh, yeah, it. look. I hooked that right over your shoulder, Lefty. Yeah, I know you did. That should have been that your fish. That was my fish. I know. <laughs> That's the reason I caught it. Have at him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Well, Kevin said this point would be good. Oh, gosh. Kevin, that, what is that, a two year old fish? Yeah, two year old. Yeah. Last about uh, three years, I've had real good pack uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I just had the uh, index come out this year, and, and I know it's been published, but I don't know what it was this year. It's 10. It's 10? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's about average then. Right? It's above average. No, I'm sorry, it's 12. And 8 the, is what they the, the when they won it, when they were in a... Um, hasn't the average increased the last few years because of the... Yeah, but this was a good one. Yeah, you're talking um, about the young of the year class. That yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, when we were going to have... When they had a moratorium, they needed 8 to, uh, to open it up three years. Right. And we've had three years of way above 10. This one was 12, and I think last week year was way above that, too. Uh, the striper population is just skyrocketing in Chesapeake Bay. And, of course, they're the nursery for the whole East Coast, so the... This is the only place I know where commercial fishing and recreational forest fishing are allowed with management practices and the stocks are increasing. Mm -hmm. It's the only place I know in the world. Yeah, man, what a crazy fish. Right on the surface again. Yep. I think we could catch him right now on floating lines, well, sinking lines. Well, that tide started changing and that makes all the difference in the world. 
Oh. Are you going to help me with my fish, Tom, or are you going to be gonna, nasty? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a... Oh, look at the color on that. God, that's the prettiest one, I think, today. Yeah. That, that, oh! Did you see that, Kevin? He threw my fish back on purpose. <laughs> yep. Well... That kinky I, fiber so did, material is I just didn't touch it, so that fish was not that a caught fly fish. Out for me, son. That was not a caught fish since I didn't touch it. <laughs> we don't have leaders on here like big game fish. No, no, no. But